Chin Pao and Zamazenta Crown have been banned from the Gen 9 Overuse tier. Which is pretty funny because not even one hour ago from when I'm recording this, I uploaded a video about why Zamazenta Crown is as good as it is in the Gen 9 Overuse tier. I guess that it doesn't matter anymore now, but hey, it's still a good video, so check it out if you haven't already. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I don't think this is coming to a surprise. If you didn't know, last weekend the council held a vote for Pokemon that potentially uh, are banned worthy for the tier. And only McGinnis got banned and Chin Pao and Zamazenta were shy of one vote. And also in that weekend or a day after, I can't remember exactly, they changed, kind of changed the voting requirements for a Pokemon. Uh, it was right now there are like nine members voting and it was seven out of nine and it went from six out of nine and Chin Pao and Summon Center were voted six out of nine at that time so technically they would have been banned if it was implemented before anyway let's go over the reason real quick and over the impact it might have on the metagame so yeah the SVOU tiering console has been monitoring the ongoing tiering survey we like to conduct regular surveys to catch the community and upon seeing the results over the first couple days, we have determined to hold pretty much another emergency vote. So, the name says it all. Uh, they talk about how Reggie Alecki was banned last week. Same with Magirna last weekend. And they say we expect to wait until this coming weekend to vote again. However, between the metagame's continued response to these bans and the player based sweeping sentiments expressed across the survey, it caused a sample of 2,000 total participants. Thank you. And well over 100 qualified participants. So yeah, Chirin Pao currently had the highest mark of any Pokemon in the history of our surveys. But Summons at the Crown only thrilled by a small amount. Leaving both firmly entrenched in territory we normally view as the quick pen vote zone. Summons at the Hero was a distant third and fell slightly outside of this threshold. We will still be voting again this weekend to Summons at the Hero and other radar for the presences. This is mind we voted in the follow fashion on both Chirin Pao and Summons at the Crown. But yeah, um, Chirin Pao has been able to make use of its great two steps alongside Sacred Sword to hit the vast majority of the metagame. I don't think this is any news to anybody. And uh, yeah, especially after the began of Bagirna, it, it would have been even worse if they banned some at the ground without Chin Pao. But yeah, it's now also been banned. And Chin Pao has effectively been able to handpick its own counts throughout the entire metagame to two steps and coverage. And this is amplified by the possibility of attack boosting items and offense to the station. So there's a choice there. Choice. <laughs> Terra Dark with Crunch. My, in my opinion, pretty much the only thing you needed to do was Choice Band, Terra Dark, just crunch everything. Even if it's resist, it's still gonna take a lot of damage. There's not, there's not a, a whole lot of skill with this Pokemon. Yeah, and it's, it's too fast, it's too strong, and it's coverage is too good. It, it, there's nothing else to say. Even I think even without Sacred Sword, this Pokemon would still be considered. Uh, a problem. Uh, they also talk about how well it was not able, to, quite able to beat some of forms, and it was weak to start our Chimpas offensive arsenal, allowed for it to have hardly any counterplay, and with it qualify was not remarkably consistent either. Bro, like, Asamazenta were checks at best to Chimpao. I mean, there are, there are, there are good checks, but still, they, Chimpao still does significantly, significant damage to the Samazenta forms. Iso Crash does about 40 to Dauntless Shield Zamazenta Hero and it uh, almost won it KOs Zamazenta Crown and Crunch still does like 25% to uh, Zamazenta Crown max defense without, um, or I think it's max defense at least, without any boost. So it's still a lot of damage. And yeah, that's pretty much everything on Chen Pao. Zamazenta Crown, <laughs> Iron Defense plus Body Press. I literally I literally just talked about Zamazenta Crown, so I'm gonna keep this short. But um, yeah, few adversaries are worthy of trying the album of the king himself, which made it very problematic. Yeah, I literally mentioned in the video, there's not a lot of counterplay to this Pokemon. Truth be told, Summer Center Crown was undoubtedly polarizing as it hits unreasonably hard for a Pokemon with bolstered defenses. Literally said that too, thanks to the newly found body press. While it can only ran, set, and follow this predictable pattern, that was all we needed to break the tear wide open, making deep building a massive challenge due to its burden. Yeah, the this Pokemon, you know what it's gonna do, 
and still you, you cannot deal with it consistently that says that says a lot you know what it's gonna do there's no oh maybe it's this set maybe it's that set no you know you already know what it's gonna do and the thing is uh, in team preview you cannot see which shaman center form you're facing it's always going to be hero form so unless the opponent sends it out you don't know whether it's hero form or crowned at that time which is also i think a big deal because crown has less counters than hero so yeah uh blah, 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 blah. all things considered some of the crown fit an interesting niche to perfection and it does so well greatly limiting the metagame <laughs> yeah we were excited to dabble it with but body press was clearly too much so yeah i my personal opinion i did not think that iron defense body press was going to be as good as it is I mean, I knew it's gonna probably be good, but not as good as it has been in this metagame. And you know, um, someone's in the crown. It was a nice addition to stall, but now stall's gonna have to go back to being shit, I guess. So, um, yeah. I don't really have a lot to say about these bands. I do think that, that someone's in the hero might be easier to deal with. It's still gonna be a problematic Pokemon. Uh, aside from that, don't really have a lot to add. Already talked about Summers in the Crown a lot. Jim Powell is already a familiar face that has been banned before. So yeah, let me know what you think about these bands. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new. And thanks for watching and see you next time.